now have the ability to uh, provision it in Azure, which may be useful if you want to do pen testing against your machines in Azure, or if uh, um, you want to do uh, some, some of the uh, the more advanced features of, of Kali Linux um, you know, against your Azure environment. <clears throat> so uh, the question is, how do you provision this Kali Linux machine on Azure? Because if you just go into your Azure portal and try to provision the machine, you're not going to see it. So you actually have to get the Kali Linux image uh, from the uh, Azure Marketplace. And so when you do, you will see um, uh, that the little Get It Now uh, uh, button. You'll, you'll click on that. And when that happens, you'll get this prompt that asks you which accounts you want to use when you acquire apps on the Azure Marketplace. You, you type in uh, your your work account or Microsoft account, your uh, MSN or Hotmail or Outlook account and, and sign in. And at that point, you'll be able to provision the Kali Linux image into your Azure instance or your Azure subscription. Um, so what it looks like is this. Um, you would provision it uh, just like you would with any other virtual machine, any Windows machine or other Linux machine, just uh, uh, set it up and, and um, it, uh, it runs just the same as, as any others. Um, one of the things that you, you should notice um, in the uh, screenshot there is that the installation defaults are that um, the, the only way to administer or, or access the image by default is through SSH. So you have to SSH into the box um, using a, uh, uh, a password or uh, more securely using SSH keys. Once it's been provisioned, um, you don't get a GUI interface, but uh, I'll talk about how you can actually uh, set up a GUI interface uh, very easily. Um, you'll also need to get the latest updates for your Kali Linux instance, uh, which would include things like uh, the latest packages for um, different drivers and, and you know, just your standard uh, operating system um, updates, as well as bug fixes, and then there might be some updates to the actual tools that are built into um, uh, the, the, the platform itself. So that's where uh, we're, we're talking about the installation defaults. <music>